De Japanse overheid ondersteunt de Surinaamse gemeenschap in basisprojecten voor menselijke veiligheid. In dat kader heeft er vanmorgen een ondertekeningsceremonie plaatsgevonden voor de uitvoering van twee projecten. Het gaat hierbij om het project ter verbetering van de voedzame omstandigheden van kinderen en kwetsbare mensen. Dat is ingediend door stichting Wie Uma Fusranang en het project voor de renovatie van de opleidingsfaciliteit voor vrouwen van de Nationale Vrouwenbeweging. De niet-residerende ambassadeur van Japan, Yutaka Matsubari, Matsubara, die voor de ondertekening naar Suriname is afgereisd, zegt dat deze projecten in lijn staan met de duurzame ontwikkelingsdoelen. Specifically, this project addresses the goals of zero hunger, good health and well-being, and gender equality which are all essential aspects of human life. As a member of the international community, Japan will actively work with Sina, the Caribbean and other countries around the world to resolve the challenges to achieving these goals. Indeed, Japan and Suriname share common challenges such as natural disasters and climate change. However, in contrast, we also share universal values of democracy, human rights, and rule of law, which have facilitated strong cooperative relationships at both the bilateral and regional level. De Nationale Vrouwenbeweging zal de subsidie gebruiken om de trainingsfaciliteit in het district Para te renoveren, zegt voorzitter Eline Granoogs. Terwijl Wiuma Fusranang de productie van Kokori zal verbeteren met het project, zegt voorzitter Tanja Liwashu. To experts advice received from senior food technologists and nutrition experts, the fortified Kokori will be made in the form of a complete formula that incorporates the necessary nutrition. It can then be simply prepared with water. In developing the product, we also aim to comply with the International Food Standards of the Codex Alimentarius Commission. Our product is therefore compliant with the Codex guidelines on formulated complementary food for older infants and young children, and with the Codex standards for processed cereal-based foods for infants and young children. And by doing so, we will pursue the aim of this project, which is to contribute to the well-being of socially deprived women, women in distress, and women who have fallen victim of domestic and other forms of violence, and women in general. Of course, this will facility will provide for training, coaching, and guiding, so that uh, women can enter a healing process so that they will be able to resume their daily activities in their normal family life. Deze ondertekeningsceremonie voor ondersteuning van twee sociale projecten is onderdeel van de Grant Assistance for Grassroots Human Security Projects, GPP, van de Japanse overheid.